Well, hello, folks. This is Bill at Bill Reddick Outdoors. I spent the last few days on the road taking a trip to Florida for my grandmother's 102 birthday. Man, she is something else. She beat us all in a game of croquet or two that afternoon. <laughs> We just love spending time with her. And when I left there, I stopped by my brother's. He gonna take me out in a little rusty cup and we gonna see if we can't catch a catfish or two. Hey, Rusty. <laughs> you know, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Must not have been important. Oh. oh, I remember. You know, a day when the fishing is slow sometimes is good because you can explore other areas you don't normally go to and you may find out a, a good place to fish and you can sit and be alone with your thoughts. But the good thing is if you got a buddy with you, you can share stuff back and forth and have a good time and I don't fish because I'm good at it I fish because I love it yeah but there are a couple of things I am real good at <laughs> what's that there's two things I know of one is doing absolutely nothing <laughs> okay and the second is making a mistake while I'm doing it <laughs> <laughs> you know I thought I might win one of them things for years Rusty Somebody told me the other day in order to win, you gotta buy a ticket. I don't uh, guess I'll ever win a lottery. I just thought they put your name in there. You know what somebody told me fishing was? What? One of the most expensive ways there are to eat supper for free. <laughs> yeah. Now we ain't even gonna get no supper, yeah, don't look like. Right. Dude, well, I said, I was wondering when last time I got totally stumped was. <laughs> well, if it don't nothing change, it's going to be today. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, buddy. We got a tangled mess. He got in our other line. Twist him around. There we go. That be fish number two. And that's another nice one. This fish has been hooked before. See that hook right there? That's somebody else's hook from before. But today ain't his lucky day. But we gonna release him in the grease. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Folks, that Tux is glad I'm home. I've been gone for about a week visiting kinfolk down in Florida. He's been shut up on the chain all week, and so he is glad that I'm back where he can get out and run around and play and do. And you know what got me to thinking? As we age, <laughs> it gets to the point to where we're not able to go and do like we used to. So I encourage you, if you've got a family member that's getting on up there in age and can't get out too much anymore, or even it don't have to be a family member, just a friend. I encourage you to go spend some time with them. It'll brighten their day. And I bet you it'll brighten your day too. <laughs> and always remember folks, whether you at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. See y'all.